handled by Michaela in the ring, bred by Tricomi Domenico and Jane Moore. And as its name suggests, it comes from the Etna region of northern Italy, where it's used as a sight hound. Elegant in its carriage, silky coat, clean outline, a little bit like a pharaoh hound in miniature, if you like. That's a rough estimation. But here we have our group best of breed winners, starting with the Afghan hound. The Basenji and the Basset Fauve de Bretagne. Soft spot in my heart for the Grand Basset Griffon Vendien. This is a beautiful one. And smaller scale, a very famous one here, the Petit Basset Griffon Vendien. And the Basset Hound. And here's the smart beagle, this one, all the way from Australia. Marvelous lemon and white dog. The substance and size of the bloodhound. And the elastic gait, okay. The elegance of the borzoi here, the Russian wolfhound. Now the first of our dachshunds, this one the long-haired. Miniature variety, now the miniature long-haired. Same standard, just scaled down. The smooth dachshund. Standard smooth, looking around, taking it all in. And now the miniature smooth. This one from the famous Deriska Kennel of Levain Coxon up in North Northumberland. The wire-haired dachshund. Our colleague Peter will be very pleased to see this one. And the mini wire coming in behind. Both reds. The grace and elegance of the deer hound. That's one of my favorite hound breeds. The Finnish Spitz. One of the noisiest of the hound breeds. <laughs> the instantly recognizable foxhound. Elegance and lithe muscular outline of the greyhound. The Hamilton Stavare, the Swedish foxhound. The hovering gait, one of the specific things, hovering its way across the map there. That was the Abedin Hound, and this is the Irish Wolfhound, the real giant of the hound group. The Norwegian Elk Hound. Workman-like and strong. Ah, the, <laughs> the elastic gait of the Otter Hound, a lovely breed. The Pharaoh Hound. Warren Hounds of Portugal, real workman-like. Getting quite popular. And now the Rhodesian Ridgeback. The Rhodesian Ridgeback. From Zimbabwe originally, where it was used with lions. The grace and elegance of the Saluki. Actually, I know I'm just going to play. <laughs> the Slugi. Very similar in its background and ancestry. And from a huge entry, over 450 whippets here today, here's the best of breed winner. Very diverse, the hound group, Jessica, because as you know, it's divided into the sight hounds and the scent hounds. The sight hounds usually having the longer legs for galloping long distances, and the scent hounds lower shorter legs so they can get their noses to the ground and pick up the scent the griffon vendien hounds there the petit we're looking at of course a tremendous track record there for little jilly there's the basset hound instantly recognizable anywhere in the world the beagle just give me a canny eye at the camera there Just taking in the general outline and balance. S six Dachshunds here, three varieties of coat, but all sharing the same standard. Beautiful expression there, taking a good look at that camera, which of course looks like a giant predatory eye to a dog at that level. Standard wire Dachshunds, and then the little miniature. And both reds, both reds, the, the, the wire varieties here. No set hounds were used to that in fact, and were like Dan Lefory, through sheer insistence. 
the Deerhound, the finished bits, the Foxhound, Greyhound's having a good look at the camera too. Real temperament test, this one. Hamilton's Dover, eh? the Swedish Foxhound, and the unique outline of the Ibethan Hound. It's the Otterhound, Pharaoh, the little Portuguese Pedengo, wagging tail, enjoying her time in the ring. And bringing up the rear, the Whippet, of course, ever popular. Great. So the first of the hounds to be looked at, C'est moi du Manuel Galopin, an Afghan hound called C'est moi at home, owned by uh, Martia Robin from Nantes in France, who also bred this dog and is handling in the ring. First CC in the UK today, only the second time in England. And he comes from a very famous kennel. Martial Robin has been a breeder in France for many years. He's al also a famous artist, just as you will n well know. Very elegant dog. This should be elegant. A lot of the Afghan is in his carriage. He should be elegant, carrying his head high, carrying his tail high with a slight little donut ring at the end. They're breed hallmarks. Light lifting gait. And making a beautiful beautiful passage around the ring there as you say elegance personified and the handler's <laughs> pretty elegant himself too yes <laughs> tall leggy and elegant just like a sight hound ben reynolds floss returning to the top end of his line to take another look at these hounds it's a big group so he needs to refresh his memory as to which he liked and which he's going to have to leave behind. I hope he doesn't leave the Grand Bassé behind. <laughs> That's such a beautiful dog. But so is the one standing next mm. to it. That lovely beagle. The larger frames of the Bloodhound and the Borzoi. And there the Dachshund family. Long, low and level. All six of them. Standing back and looking at their outlines and proportions. Well, he said this has always been his ambition, so he's going to want to get it right. On past the Greyhound, the Abethan Hound, the giant of the Irish Wolfhound. Pharaoh's still a little unsettled using the ears the whole time, whereas the Portuguese tango is just very happy, yes, tail. happy to be here. 